welcome back to my youtube channel in one of my video in this youtube channel i show you how to take a grid file and save it into a geosoft database but in this video i'm going to show you how you can use a geosoft database to get to create a grid file so let me open touch software as you can see let's say you have uh, a database like this the x and y are the locations on the earth surface at this value x and y the value at that point is this at this location x and y the value of z2 is this so based on this database i can have two grids one for z1 and another one for z2 the x and y are the location on the earth surface in this case it's in the form of utm zone 32 degree north it can be latitude or longitude so if we have one two three four columns that means we can have a maximum of two grids so first we're going to see how we can grid this column in OS montage is called channel we have two channels here to grid z1 and what z2 now let's see how we can able to grid channel z1 to grid that what we are going to do we are going to move to grid an image then under gridding grid an image navigate to gridding click on minimum curvature here we are to channel to grid z1 the output grid want to name for that channel you can call it tmi z1 if you want then click ok so let's wait for some few seconds now this is the grid file for that channel now let's go back to our database now let's say we want to grid z2 you can see z is highlighted with the background color of i think is blue now we need to change this to what z2 so we need to change this one to z2 and how we can do that is to go to coordinates then set current xyz coordinate as you can see our xy is already selected on our our current z that is attached the one of the, the, the channel we need to change we we'll select z2 then click ok so here we are now let's grid this channel z2 click on grid and image navigate to utilities Uh, no grid and image navigate to gridding the minimum of curvature the channel to grid is z2 you select z2 then we can clean this one now write Z tmi z2 or you can call it any other name click on ok you can see we have two two grids one tmi z2 and the other one tmi z1 now let me show you let me clean uh, some of this let me remove uh, let's see Now we have two yeah so i will dial vertically now you can see the two grids tmi tz1 and the other one that's all for this video